Hey there, John here with the Blues Guitar Institute, and here's your Tuesday Blues. Before we get into today's lesson, if you're new, hit the subscribe button, and we've got cool acoustic blues lessons coming out every single Tuesday here on the BGI channel. Now, what we're going to talk about today is how to use alternate picking with the thumb pick to play cool single note lead lines like you just heard in that little lick. It's a, it's a technique that you'll hear in Tommy Emanuel's playing, and it's really cool to play with a thumb pick because you can get the flat picking sound, uh, the speed really of a flat pick, stuff like that, but then you can also hop right back into your boom chick style. So I love the versatility that this brings, but we've got to tune up our technique when it comes to alternate picking. So before we go any further, what is alternate picking? Well, it's simply just picking down and up. And when you do that with a thumb pick, your thumb pick is not going to respond well to the upstroke. So you'll want to take your index finger and pinch it. Um, you, you can take another finger if you're used to playing or holding a flat pick differently, but for me, I use my index finger and I kind of pinch the, um, the thumb pick as if I'm holding a flat pick. That will allow me to do this down up motion of alternate picking. And when you do this down up motion and you get the mechanics right, you can really play super fast. And with a lot of practice, then you can really hop in and out of different rhythms and just kind of call on that speed burst when you want to. It's a super cool thing to do. And what I'm going to do today is talk you through a few of the mechanics that you need. And honestly, this is just going to be the tip of the iceberg. This is something I'm working on stepping up in my own playing, but I want to get you going with it as well. So we're going to start out with this little one string three note sequence here. This is coming from the lick, but you'll see we're going to build some exercises into this coming from the lick that you heard. So we're going to do a down, up, down, and we're just going to repeat those three notes with that down, up, down. Definitely when you're practicing this, fire up a metronome, go slow. You want slow and precise and you build this over time. That's how the shredders do it. That's how the, the jazz virtuosos do it. you got to play with a metronome and work on your technique and get it perfect. So we'll do this. And then speed it up when you can. Okay. Now a couple of things are going to help you here and that is knowing a little bit about or paying attention to your technique and I'm talking the fine details here. So one thing that I'm doing is rolling my thumb over so I'm not just hitting the string with the flat pick. I'm, I'm sort of rolling it over so that I'm hitting it with just the leading tip of the pick. Then the other thing that I'm doing is I'm kind of tilting it. Okay, so this, this means this way. I've got the pick, I'm sort of turning it in and up. So my wrist is rolling around a little bit. And then I'm also going to like pull my finger in so that the string hits more on the edge of the pick rather than, um, again, just sort of crashing up and down at the widest part of the pick. It's a little less surface area striking the string, which is good because that is a little less friction, a little less resistance, allowing you to play faster. So again, roll forward a little bit and then kind of cock it back just a little bit. And everything's cool when you're on one string. You do that enough with a metronome, you'll get pretty quick. But when you go to, and that was sort of sloppy, but when you go to move strings, that's when things get super tricky, especially with a three note sequence like this, because you're going down, up, down, we want to hit the third string now. We've got to hit it with an upstroke. This is the next note. Right? So we're hitting that with an upstroke. In order to do that, again, this is the fine details of your playing, you'll want to swing up so that when you come down, it's natural and you've got a good, clean attack on that third string. And when I say down, I mean just sort of back toward the string. to this note on this seventh fret here, or F sharp here. 
then you can finish it with a walk down on the third string. And that then becomes a great second exercise because it's got that string shifting involved. So in this little phrase, we can do our alternate picking and really focus on building speed and the synchronization between the two hands here. And then you can graduate to the full uh, exercise where we're using the string shifting there. And again, keeping that down, up, down, up in strict regimen there. Then we're going to break from this position and shift down, hard shift here from this area down to the fourth fret. Then you're going to come up, we're going to do some single string picking here on the third string. Go from the B to the D and then back to the B, then back to the A. Then we're going to do B, A, and then finally this little ending here from our F sharp down to the E and then back to the F sharp. Now everything is played with a 16th note rhythm here. Except this last note, it's an 8th note. great lick to practice with a metronome but it's really going to make sure in order to play this you've got to make sure that you've got some really cool some strong solid alternate picking skills so again just start small one string down up down up pay attention to the pick angle and how you're attacking the string And then do some string switching. Then you can launch into the full leg. And then of course, once you're here and once you've played this leg, the cool part is you can hop into some boom chick type stuff. That's it for this lesson. If you haven't already picked up your three lessons from the Acoustic Blues Jumpstart course, then definitely head over to bluesguitarinstitute.com slash start now and pick up your three free lessons. We work on some fundamentals, we work on keeping things simple, and we definitely build yourself some nice foundational skills in the blues. So head over there and pick that up, and I'll see you here next Tuesday. Until then, play on.